Welcome to our course on treatment of the Hara. During this course we're going to present traditional Hara technique, sometimes called Ampuku. And we're going to complement that with a lot of contemporary ideas that help to bring those traditional techniques and the effect that they have a lot further. We're going to explore traditional diagnosis, which is very different than the diagnosis that many people in Shiatsu have focused on in the previous years. Diagnosing the Hara means to diagnose and to get a sense of the whole Hara. Hara diagnosis is where we use the Hara to show us the condition of meridians or organs in the body. We're going to use diagnosis of the Hara, where we want to feel the whole Hara, the quality of it. We want to feel if the Hara has a resilient, flexible quality where we can penetrate in with our pressure, but at the same time we have the feel that the Hara can push us back out. Or we want to notice if each area of the Hara feels different, some empty, some soft, some hard, some mushy. What I found in my work is that when a person is generally experiencing a greater level of well-being, their Hara feels more the same throughout. This is very much like the quality of a child's Hara or the quality of an infant's Hara. And I highly encourage you to feel a baby's Hara or a young child. And what you're going to notice is that no matter where you press, it's the same quality. You can sink in, it pushes you back out. And this is what we're looking to achieve over the course of a number of treatments, is to restore that quality. When a person's feeling less well, they're experiencing sickness, then we find this fragmented sensation throughout the Hara. Different areas feeling different. Broken into pieces, hard areas, soft areas. Or just a general sensation of weakness and a lack of vitality. Real treatment of the Hara has been somewhat lost in the last years. People are afraid to really penetrate into the Hara. Traditional practitioners of Shiatsu were not afraid to do that. They would go in. They would go in and explore the deeper part of the Hara. They viewed the Hara as a reflection of the whole person's life. Physical, emotional, mental, and the whole life system, which was a mirroring back of condition the flow of energy through their Hara. When we leave that out of our treatment, we overlook one of the greatest opportunities to bring back well-being and to recover life force for our client. So I highly encourage people to take another look at these traditional ways of treating. I think you're going to enjoy bringing more Hara treatment into your work, and it's going to accelerate the positive changes and effects that you get from your treatments.